All right, my name is Kainton and today we are going to continue with our tutorial on Spring Boot and today we are going to create a new application on Spring Boot. This is a brand new installation of uh, Spring Tool Suits, uh, STS. In the last tutorial we downloaded it and installed it. So today is going to be a hello world. We are going to build an application and actually run it in very few minutes. I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that and this way you get updates when I make new lessons and also you kind of motivate me to continue to make these lessons and if you have some comments or some challenges or some question you want me to answer please leave it in the comment box below this video and I'm going to respond to you so please click on subscribe button below if you've not subscribed and also like this video if it's been informative for you so go ahead to open spring boot uh, spring tool suits so basically I like to show you the icon so this is the icon on the desktop spring tool suit all right, so I've opened it and what you are going to do is just to go to file and choose new. Now, if you choose new, then you'll see a number of things. Oh, sorry, yes. A number of things you can do. You can do a Spring Startup project. You can also go for Maven project and a number of things. <coughs> now, what we want to do is to use a uh, full-fledged uh, Spring or a, a Spring Startup project, we want to use the Spring features in this application because the tutorial is, is Spring Boot. So the, what, you, what you're going to do is to choose a Spring Startup project. So choose it and it comes with a dialog box. So now if you look at the tutorial they, uh, in my website in the description box below, kindtonthegenius.com slash spring boot, so you can get to the procedure, you can print it out and follow it, but you can also follow along from here. So here you can leave it the way it is, here you give it a name. So once you give a name here, you can see that it also affects the artifact. So the name of the application kind of uh, mirrors the artifact name. So basically I'm calling it first up. The group is more like a grouping of your apps, so uh, try to give it a group name. I use com the kind of the genius, a Spring Boot tutorial, Spring tutorial, so you can give it some other name if you want, or you can give it my own name, no problem. So the next thing you want to do is to just give description, snapshot, you leave it the way it is, Maven is okay. Uh, version 8 Java is what I have and so on and so forth. So leave everything the way it is except this name group and um, the package. So go ahead and click next here. Um, so you have some list of dependencies you want to add for instance if you want to build a web application you could see web right here. If you want to build a uh, application to assess data, some data assess uh, JS JPA application, you can have JPA here and, and many other things. But for now, let's start from the scratch. Let's build this application without any of these dependencies. And I'm going to show you how to add dependencies later on. So you can leave it uh, the way it is at 2.13, a Spring Boot version, and then go next. So now it's giving you a, a, a location where this application is going to be downloaded from. After now, I'm going to show you how to download this application and then open it in Spring Boot or Eclipse. So just go ahead and click on Finish. Now, one thing that happens with Spring Boot is an application that uh, generates from the repository online. So when you start a new project, it's going to download uh, the needed files and configure your application. Uh, the, the initial configuration is done for you automatically and is downloaded. So you can see that we've created a first app called, how I call it first app. So you can see boot showing that it's a Spring Boot Starter application. If you open it, I want you to look at this pom.xml. pom.xml is the file that contains configuration for your project. So pom means project object module. So if you look at this place, you can see all the settings that we did. You can see the group ID, artifact ID, the version. You can see uh, uh, the name of the ap uh, application, a description, the Java version, and so on. So basically, this is where dependencies will stay. So now you have dependencies Spring Boot Starter and Spring Boot Starter Test. So those are the dependencies that tells the 
uh, Spring Boot that this application is a Spring application. <coughs> so the next thing I want you to do is to go to src main java so that we see what is in there. In the tutorial on my web page, I mentioned that there is the, the startup class file and each time you start a new project and it's initially configured, you have this class created automatically for you. Let's open this file and see what is inside. So just open it and you can see what is inside. You can see this annotation here that says add Spring Boot application. Tell Spring Boot that this is the main class or the startup or the starter class. So it means that this is the entry point of your application. Application cannot run uh, without the startup class. It has to be annotated with a Spring Boot application. All right, so you also have the main method here, uh, quite similar to the main method you used to know in Java, except that we have this, uh, this function called here, Spring Boot application.run. So it's more like calls a run method to start the configuration that allows your application to uh, initiate the deployment and then uh, start running. All right, so what I want to do now is just to make sure this application is running on a local host. For now, I'm not deploying it to anything. I'm just going to run it and then you see that it's, it runs. Remember Spring Boot, you use it to build application that you just run. The same method we are going to use now is the same method you are also going to use to write and build complex application in subsequent tutorials that we are going to go through. We are just going to run it and everything is done. So not too much stress. So let me just print out something on the on the output console. Um, sys out control space and then I want to say welcome to Spring uh, Boots Tutorials. So this is it. So to run this application, what you can do, first you can save it and then you can right click and just say run as. Now we can run it as Java application and or as Spring Boot application. Both, both of them are okay, but Spring Boot comes with features that additional features on top of the features that are available in Java application. So let's run it as Spring Boot because it is a Spring Boot tutorial. So I'm running this as Spring Boot. Let me make some space so that we see what is happening. So you can see that it starts running and then it tells us welcome to Spring Boot. It displays in the console. So we've created a new application. The nice thing we can do now is to add dependencies that can help us deploy this app application to the web. I'd like to thank you for viewing and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Also, I would like to remind you, like and share this video, leave a comment if you have any, and also subscribe if you've not subscribed.